All right, so let me paint a picture for you. You go to bed, you wake up, and boom, your eye is painful, it's red, it's irritated, you can't function, okay? The common thoughts are, hey, do you have dry eye? Did you have a fan blowing at night? Did you sleep in your contacts? Those are all common reasons this could be happening, but it feels different, it's debilitating. You cannot function. You call your eye doctor, you get in, what does he tell you? You have a recurrent corneal erosion. Have you ever experienced this or something like it? Let me tell you why it happens, who it affects, and how we treat it. So this happens to patients of all ages. I generally see it in people between their 30s and 50s, but I've seen it as late as the 90s, as early as your teens, okay? This generally happens to people with comorbidities. This means they have dry eye, they have diabetes, or they have something like ocular rosacea or blepharitis, an inflammatory condition. These underlying conditions cause the cornea to be irritated, more susceptible to this trauma. This usually occurs because at some point in the past, you had some kind of trauma to the eye. You had a corneal abrasion, you got poked in the eye, or you had LASIK surgery. As we get older, if you had cataract surgery, this can cause a weakening of the corneal epithelium. The epithelium is the outermost layer of the cornea. When this does not adhere to the cornea or adhere really solidly, you blink and it tears it off and you get this corneal abrasion and you get the pain. It's awful. So you call your eye doctor, he gets you in. I see this all the time in the morning at my office. We get the patient in, they're in severe pain, they're coming in with sunglasses on, a hat on their, over their head, their eyes are closed. Sometimes someone's leading them to the office because they can't open their eye. So at that point, we try to do an exam. It's usually very difficult, but we have numbing drops in the office so we can get you to open your eye, be in a little bit more comfort. We're gonna give you another drop for pain. We'll give you an antibiotic so it doesn't get infected, and we put on a bandage contact lens. The bandage contact lens acts as a barrier between your cornea and the eyelid. So every time you blink, you're not hitting that open wound and causing pain and irritation. You're gonna go home, you're gonna use preservative-free artificial tears, take Tylenol or ibuprofen as needed for the pain, and we're gonna get that cornea to reheal. Once it reheals, we wanna make sure, or do the best we can, to not let this be a common occurrence. But as the name implies, it's a recurrent corneal erosion. The more this happens, the more likely it is to happen again. So the first line treatment that we'll do is something called Miro 128. This is a salt or hypertonic solution. And what this does is it makes the cornea, the outermost layer, adhere more strongly. So when you wake up in the morning, it doesn't happen, okay? Having an ointment or a lubricating gel can also help. So when you open your eyes, that lid doesn't stick and cause that epithelium to tear off. Now, if this isn't working, if you still have this happening, there's other things that we can do with amniotic membranes or Argolis serum. These are things I'll cover in another video, but just know if you suffer from recurrent corneal erosion or you wake up in the morning and you get the shooting, stabbing pain, you find it happening over and over again, make sure you call your doctor, get in and have this discussion. If they don't have the knowledge to explain all the options out there, call an eye doctor that specializes in dry eye or ocular surface disease. They're definitely gonna have the answers you're looking for. Now, if this isn't you and it's someone you know, just make sure you spread the word, let them know that there's help for them, okay? I love talking about the eye. I love making these videos. If you enjoy the content, like us, subscribe, give us a review, but we're gonna make new content and we put it out every week.